I want you to count how many soldiers there are. And you know what God did not want David to number the soldiers because God wanted David to trust him. Yes, right. God had always fought the children of Israel's battles. Yes. And they didn't lose not many, or if, if even not one soldier. But David, the great warrior that he was, he got in his flesh and he decided to number the soldiers from the 12 tribes of Israel. Then God sent the prophet and told David <laughs> that God was angry. And God gave David three choices of punishment of what he was going to do. In David knowing God like he knew God. Because David would often go in sackcloth. And he will repent quickly. The book of Psalms, that's all about David's songs. And David knew he had made a mistake and he realized it. But he took the punishment, not from man. How many know man don't have mercy? Mm -mm. They don't have mercy. They don't forgive easy on you. You hurt my child, that's it, it's on you. You make a mistake, you lie, you kill, you murder. They want you to get the death penalty. But how many know that God is a forgiving God? He's a merciful God. And he said, in my mercy, endure it forever. So David took the plague that God put on the people. And the people went and sat cloth and, and they began to pray and David went and sat cloth. And he began to pray and call on Jesus and God and ask for forgiveness. And you know when the COVID-19 came, I was in prayer. I'm sure Bishop Stovall was in prayer. I'm sure all the leaders were in prayer, Pastor Stovall, in prayer. And I'm saying, God have mercy. God have mercy. And I was in prayer because God, he has called me. And he called me over 15 years ago. And he said, woman of God, I'm calling you for them to be the prophetess of nations. And he said, I want you to pray for every nation. And those of you that watch me on Thursday morning prayer, you know I pray for everybody. I pray for the whole world. And God put that burden on me. And I begin to pray. I said, God, have mercy. I said, God, send a vaccine. God, I said, God, give the doctors wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to make a vaccine. And don't you know it takes 14 years for the scientists to get in the lab to come up with a vaccine? My God, my God. But they did it in a year. Because of
But when we tucked on God's mercy, he let that storm pass over. And just for David, just like uh, when he sent the pestilence and the diseases uh, on the children of Israel, it was just for a season. Uh, and when the people began to cry out, uh, God let it pass. He said, okay, we're going to stop it. Uh, because God loves you. And God wants to give you an opportunity to, to receive salvation. Uh, my God, my God. Uh, you know it's not God's wish that any of his people shall perish. But that we all should come under to repentance. It's a loving God that we serve. Uh, when we don't always do right. When we don't always say the right thing. But God wants you next to him. He wants you near him. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Near Jesus. How many want to be near Jesus? How many want to be next to Jesus? Set apart 